for another video. Today we're going to get started building the bridge down here across the uh, lower part of the yard. I did stop by and grab some concrete blocks we're going to use for the footing of the bridge, uh, gathering up some materials. Let's get the stuff loaded up and we'll go down here and see what's ahead today. Thanks for watching. I did get a little heavier block for this uh, particular project. These are 8 by 10s. They are heavy. That's what happens when 12 inches of snow melts off in a day. It's alright though, we're going to work right on through it. Well, I tell you what, landscaping to me is always fun work. Uh, it's something that takes some time, but you get to stand back and see your efforts pretty quickly. And this bridge is going to be a nice addition to the lower part of the yard here. And I'll tell you, I don't think it's going to take too much to get down to what we need to get done here. Let's drive around to the other side and drop these other blocks off. About to lose the coffee cup. That ain't gonna happen. off out of the way. All right. I think I want to leave just a little bit of the grade when we're making this down in there. That'll make this a little more fun in the mule. So what I'm saying is I'm not going to attempt to keep this level all the way across the incline here. Just simply, again, make it a little more appealing when you're doing the trail ride. leaves out of the way so it can work a little bit. Alright. Side over here. Now one thing about this bridge, I don't have to be concerned with a, a massive amount of water coming down and attempting to wash this thing out. So I can keep it a little closer to ground level. And again, this is more for landscaping look than anything else. But this, the way this bottoms out in here too, it really does make for a rough ride in the mule. And uh, so the bridge is going to be a, a really nice addition in order to get across this a little quicker. Fast is always fun. All right. See that give us a nice, that a nine foot bridge here, and that's going to get us really close. Time we get her leveled up. All right, so let's put our first block right here. Now, when you're attempting to do this, I am looking at 
at the elevation change and I don't want to have to move more dirt than I need to so I'm going to start on this high side and drop this down and then hopefully by the time I get to the lower side here I won't have to move quite as much and we can get these blocks leveled in here. We'll get our first one set and then we'll have a pretty good idea where we're going. Now in case you didn't see the video where I sharpened these tools up, you get a good sharp shovel and you can really make a job a lot easier on yourself. They don't ship these things sharp from the manufacturer. So that way people in the stores is not cutting their hands and things like that. So it is something you have to do once you get the tool home and get ready to start using it. Now these concrete blocks, they will settle a little bit over time and that's fine. I just, by the time we've gotten our uh, nine or 10 inch timber across here, and our four to six inch uh, rails across the bridge, we're gonna be getting up into this range. So I don't wanna have to add a bunch of dirt up here either. That's pretty close. Down on this top side some. Let's take a look and see how our layout's going. These uh, elm trees can really do your pets. I'm gonna get that guy out of the way. That'll help with our grade here. It's always good practice until you get started, get your first one set, and really start moving along. Not to dig out too much. You can always dig it back a little bit more if you need to. But <clears throat> get yourself something started across through here so you can get an idea of what you're dealing with. And I try to loosen that dirt up underneath the pads so I can shift this block as I need to to get it to level out for me. I'm going to check my orientation for the square coming across this. And that's going to hit about right. Looking good so far, guys. Now here I'm going to use my tape measure as a straight edge. And it's also going, if, if you don't put a kink in your tape, it'll get you pretty close to level as well. I'm centering that up with the edge of the block there on the inside of the edge. So that's going to get me about right in here. I'm going to keep these seven feet apart. Let's mark this off and dig this one in. You'll notice that I took the coat off. It's already warm out here. Beautiful morning. Ooh, it's pretty steep on this side here too. Now, on my concrete blocks, since my grade is tilling out here, I want to dig this down to where I'm on good solid ground. I don't want to put this block on filler with this dirt because then it's just simply going to sink in and your bridge won't be quite the way you want it to be. And I would much rather have to lower that end up there than have to worry about this end sinking on something that was too soft to hold it up. Another tree root we got to chop out of here. Now there's numerous ways of leveling things up guys. If you have a laser level that's perfect or a transit 
or if you don't have that, you can use a string in one of these line levels. This just simply goes around your string, and then when you get it level, just see if you can see that. <clears throat> and then what I've done here is I just use my clamps and clamp the string to the block. This also helps me get it square with itself. And then I'm going to put this line level on the string. And we're pretty close there. It's in the bubble, and by the time we've put our uh, log structure down on here, this is going to move around a little bit. So this, get it as close as you can get it, and then check it after you, you actually get to uh, moving along with the logs and things. Okay? That's, that's close enough, and we're going to set our center block now, and then that'll get us situated for the opposite side here. Let's get to digging that one in. I have put these blocks, I'm going to make this bridge. Uh, I think eight feet across. So I put these blocks on 82 inches to the center of the webbing. And my log for my beams going across is gonna set right in the center of these blocks and that'll allow me a little bit of overhang with my cedar rails going across but to give it a little bit more uh, cleaner appearance. So we're about 82 inches to the center and again, we'll make an eight foot bridge here. I'm going to go ahead and let my string loose until I get this thing kind of close. There's no sense in having all that stuff in the way. guys we're almost there I got this one just a little bit high yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on this because I want to compress it and just lightly tap this down into the ground now these concrete blocks will shatter so don't hit them too hard we're just going to shake it down into the ground a little bit try to hit it as square as you can one last measurement, guys. I think we're set here. Make sure we get the center. Yep, looking good. Everything looks square. All right, let's put our other side in. Make sure I'm square. And I'm simply going to go corner to corner. 53. This really is the most important part of the bridge build is getting your footing square and level. Because what we start with is what we'll finish with. 153, we're dead on it. And when we're then level side to side, we're within an eighth of an inch which is more than enough because again as we lay these timbers in these trees won't be perfect in diameter so if you're using um, mill bought material then you can get it a little bit closer and uh, get everything set in there perfectly but within an eighth of an inch I'll take that with rough material to work with looking good so our foundation set yeah that went real smooth everything cut into the bank real nice because by the time I get these logs built up, we're probably going to add on another 8 to 10 inches, maybe even a little more than that. So that's going to terminate itself into the ground level real nice. We'll have to dig a little bit of it back so the logs can roll up and then just simply uh, roll the dirt down on top of them right at the edge of them. And that'll make a nice transition for the mule running across this thing. This is going to be a nice bridge be able to get up a little bit of speed and roll right on across here. And on the next video, now we'll get to use the mule then, drag some logs up here, but we're going to cut some timbers to cross over these blocks now. So I'll lay three beams across through here, 
for our major structure and then we will simply cut all of our purlings to go across. It's turned out real good. This, like I said, uh, that's going to be really nice rolling down in here with the mule, the lawnmower, uh, walking the golf course, level this up and uh, utilize a little more of the property. I want to thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you in some way. I'll see you on the next one.